Well, the idea of C40 is cities coming together, try to solve uh, the biggest problem humanity faces, climate change. I think it's very appealing. Our nations and in, in international uh, institutions seem to have quite difficulties in, in reaching uh, a consensus on goals and, and implementation of policy. For city, cities, it's much easier. We can uh, provide uh, better transportation for our inhabitants, we can do better on uh, waste uh, management, we can do all these things that, uh, that uh, cities do anyway, and we can try to learn from each other and we can try to achieve real goals. goals. And, that is why what C40 is all about, and uh, for a small city like Oslo, it's uh, an inspiration to see what the mega cities around the world are doing, and we hope to be inspired and perhaps also inspired. Well, I think we have uh, picked up on ideas on a number of, uh, of uh, issues: uh, low emission uh, vehicles, uh, transport, waste management, and in waste management, we also have a very concrete example. We we need to educate people and try to make people participate in our uh, recycling and, and waste management system. And we actually saw that in London, they had gone door to door uh, in the city to the inhabitants, uh, giving information, uh, learning if there are any questions. And we thought if they can do that in a huge city like London, it's of course possible to do it in Oslo. So now we're inspired by that. We have visited only last year 72,000 homes in Oslo doing the same thing that they did in, in London and we have got really good results doing it. There are, the mayors come here from all over the world. They come from cities that are many times bigger than my country. Uh, but at the end of the day, I think many of our issues are the same. How do we uh, uh, um, provide better transport for, uh, for our citizens? How do we attract business? How do we perform the change for uh, a low emission society? And I think if you are mayor of a huge city, if you are mayor of a, a smaller city, many of the issues are the same, uh, even though it's obviously more complicated in, in, in larger cities. But it's interesting to, to have these conversations. How do you solve this? How do you communicate with your, with your population? How do, you, how do you work with different parts of society to, to, to promote these goals that we try to, to strive? Well, I must say I've been very impressed to see your new bus system here. Uh, and I think it is an inspiration for, uh, for many cities. Fundamentally, what one has done is to say that some parts of the road uh, are now uh, only for uh, public transport and you've provided a very efficient way to transport huge amount of people at an actually quite low cost and I think that is inspirational for, for many uh, cities including, including my, my own. Uh, if I should point out something I think we can inspire others is uh, our efforts in uh, promoting uh, elect electric vehicles. Oslo is, we have now around 9,000 electric vehicles and not only uh, in the public sector, uh, families uh, are, are using them and we have put together a quite an intensive in incentive package for doing that and uh, I think what we have done on a small scale in Oslo can make a really an, a big effort and impact uh, if bigger cities would see to some of our experience. But cities are much older entities than nations. Uh, cities were there much long before anyone thought of, uh, of nations. And I think we underlined that today when we, uh, when we sat together, all, all of us, with, uh, with mayors from Venice and from Milan, uh, which were huge uh, cities long before it, Italy was, uh, was invented. I think cities now can try to do some of the things they used to do, try to uh, promote uh, change by uh, inspiring population, trying to take an active part of, uh, of the change that need to, to take place, which is perhaps easier for a city to do than for nations who have to take global uh, implications into, into the account, which we don't do.